Hi everyone, Dr. Becky here from drbeckyfitness.com and we're going to talk today about cutting your sugar cravings. Uh, sugar cravings are a tough one because, you know, all of us have brains, so all of us are susceptible to the pull of sugar. It actually changes the chemistry in your brain. It's an addictive substance, so you really need a strategy. You need some proven ways to get control of your sugar cravings and when you do it's going to accelerate your weight loss like nothing else because sugar when you eat it uh, metabolizes into fat very quickly so let's get right into the strategies that you can use to cut your sugar cravings first an alkaline body is a happy body your body likes to be slightly alkaline talking about the pH scale uh, sugar and processed foods are uh, create a very acidic environment in your in your body and when that happens uh, your body has to buffer those acids so it's going to pull minerals out of things like your bone and teeth and to to create some stability there and what happens is that your body goes into this uh, downward spin where you're getting biochemically uh, mixed up when you're like that your hunger and cravings go way up because your body's trying to bring back some balance. So you want to fill your day with alkaline rich foods. These would be uh, plant foods. So great foods to include in your daily diet are green leafy vegetables, uh, broccoli, avocados, garlic, lemon, herbs. Uh, incorporate as many herbs as you can into recipes. They're going to create a more alkaline uh, environment in your body. It's going to be more stable. It's going to keep your hunger and cravings under control. Also, a protein, fat, and fiber lunch. This is a great trick for getting past the midday slump that, you know, when you're, you're bored, you're tired, you just kind of want to pick me up and your brain starts thinking about sugar again. If you have protein, fat, and fiber at your lunch, you're going to keep your stomach busy all afternoon and that's going to keep your, your natural hunger and craving signals off. Easy thing to do, easiest thing to get control of your sugar cravings is to just have a meal size salad every lunch. Might sound a little boring, you can be very creative with salads, so go ahead. But it will incorporate all of these things for you. It'll keep your digestive system busy and you won't con have that slump and that fatigue in the afternoon where you just want some sugar. So, you know, just get a big salad, uh, lots of leafy greens, put assorted uh, vegetables in there. Protein, you can throw chicken st strips on there. Beans work great for protein as well. They also are going to give you some fiber. Um, for fat, throw some avocado on there. Throw some uh, nuts and seeds. Uh, they're also going to help that alkaline environment, so you're going to just get yourself on an upward spiral here. Number three, cut dairy. Dairy foods are like milk. You know, it's meant for babies so that they can grow quickly. Uh, adults have a hard time digesting milk products. Uh, in fact, there's research that 60% of people have trouble with digesting dairy products. When, th when we eat them, they are an inflammatory food to our digestive tract. When you have inflammation in your digestive tract, it stimulates the production of ghrelin, which is the hunger hormone. So you eat dairy, it causes inflammation, causes that ghrelin to spike and up goes your hunger and cravings. So try to stay away from dairy if sugar cravings are a problem for you. Out of sight, out of mind. Uh, Brian Wansick, who is the, uh, he works at Cornell University. He's one of the researchers in the, uh, what is it, consumer behaviors or something like that. Anyway, he's also a best-selling author. He's written books like Mindless Eating, Slim by Design, uh, I really do recommend his books. They're, they're very interesting. Basically, he talks about the, you know, he's done research where they've uh, put food in front of people and basic message is, the more we see, the more we eat. Um, his, so what he, you know, it's just our human nature that if we see the food, we're gonna eat food. His main message is that it's much easier to change our food environments than it is to change human nature. So, cookies on the counter, get them off of there. Put fruit there instead. Uh, your refrigerator, make sure there's vegetables um, on the top shelf that are ready to, to be eaten. eaten. Um, out of sight, out of mind. All right, 
Number five, control stress. So when we feel stress, we get the release of a hormone called cortisol. You might have heard of cortisol in different, uh, from different people because cortisol is associated with belly fat. But cortisol also will stimulate hunger. So when we're under stress, we get, uh, we get hunger signals to try to control that stress. Instead, have a couple of quick, easy stress relievers in your back pocket. Does not have to be complicated. Um, deep br breathing is a great way. Breathe in through your nose for a count of four and breathe out of your nose for a count of four. It is really that simple. Do it on your drive home. You get the same effect from singing in your car or laughing out loud in your car. All these things are going to calm your nervous system, which is going to keep those hormones uh, under control and keep um, your hunger under control as well. Uh, another, another quick and easy thing that you can do to control stress is called progressive relaxation. Basically start at your toes, tense your toes for a couple of seconds, and then relax. Tense your legs for a couple of seconds, and then relax. Go the whole way up. Ten seconds is probably plenty of time. Just enough, you know, just tense enough that you can kind of start to feel some fatigue, and then relax, and it relaxes the whole body. So. Just a few th quick things to have in your back pocket to control stress and control your, your sugar cravings. Seven to eight, nine hours of sleep. When we're sleep deprived, it shuts off <clears throat> the brain's um, main decision making area, which is this frontal area here, and it stimulates activity in the primal areas where we want rewards. So in other words, when you're sleep deprived, you can't make good diet choices uh, and your your primal area your area which wants reward is going to be lit up what does it want to be rewarded with well sugar is a quick and easy one right so sleep deprivation directly leads into sugar cravings and last make a no exception rule around a, a bedtime bedtime eating late night snacking it's a really dangerous time for sugar cravings um, because we, we just, we mindlessly eat, we sit there, we're bored, and we want something to do. Sugar becomes one of those habits that we create at late night. Um, no exception rules are, are things that are done regardless of convenience. Uh, Jack Canfield is the one that uh, I, I take these from. I, I use them all the time um, over at my website because no, no exception rules fill us with more of a sense of duty. They're more um, meaningful to us than just trying to rely on willpower, which we just kind of, you know, white knuckle it out with. Uh, so create a no exception rule around bedtime. My favorite one is three hours before bed, stop eating. So for this week, to lose weight, weight cutting your sugar cravings, make a no exception rule for the next seven days. I'm gonna stop eating three hours before bed, no exception. And the great thing that you'll find is that it stops that internal banter, that, that talk, that internal dialogue that used to talk you out of sticking to your, to your diet. You know, it's an hour before bed, you start thinking about something to snack on, well, I have a no exception rule, my eating day is done, end of story. All right, so use these seven things to get a handle on sugar. I know sugar is a, a toughie. Um, so you need to incorporate some strategies, and when you do, you will accelerate your weight loss like nothing else. If you want a game plan to follow, uh, go over to my website, drbeckyfitness.com. There you'll find my free video series on four daily habits that will just naturally cut out sugar for you, um, boost your intake of uh, good, healthy vegetables, and get you your weight right on track again. Um, if this was helpful to you, please subscribe to my list. We've been growing pretty rapidly, so I want to thank everybody who's already subscribed. And if you're not already subscribed, click that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.